plan. When you start with the plan, you basically start by creating a new project. The new project here specifies the name of the project, new project number one, specifies where you want to locate it, and you choose a template. The basics comes actually with simply using the symbols, macros, and placeholders. So technically in a project, you will actually have specified what template, plot frames, you will be using, so what size of symbols you will be using, what type of symbols. ePlan actually provides you with all the NFPA, North American style symbols, and the IC symbols. You can see in this particular project here, we have already a few pages. If I open my page number 10 here and I insert some symbols, it was already pre-selected that we use North American symbols. These symbols come actually with different types of functions. Now, within a specific type of function, you can pick your symbol, here a motor overload, and you can place it. If we do place it on line 1022, in this particular project, because of the settings, we will get the circuit breaker MOL 1022. If we place this device again, we'll actually see what we call the auto connect appear, and the device tag will be taken care of automatically by taking over here 1022.1. Now, Connecting these to the power lines, we will use T-nodes. T-nodes specify how exactly they are connected. Here we want to connect back up to the uh, distribution block. So I'm just dragging and dropping the whole thing. Boom, boom, boom. There it's done. Now when you finish this or you take up, off some of these uh, symbols, the auto-connecting lines disappears automatically. Let's create a complete new page. So here we will create a page 11 to show you some motors. Once the page is created, we get an empty page. The row numbers are all in there. I'll actually insert some power lines. Power lines here are actually simply some power lines. I'm going to place them here, place circuit number one, done. Then I place a macro for the motors. The macro for the motors may ha actually have multiple different um, variants. So if I click on the tab button, you can see that I have different types of controls. So I'm going to insert the first one in here. I'm going to place the uh, another variant here, a little bit further down. X, Y locks it into position, enter, and I can choose the individual uh, size. Now if I move it down again and I place another one, I could choose a different size. By choosing these different sizes, what actually did happen, these are called placeholders, we actually predefined what the power rating would be for the different uh, loads and we predefine the part numbers that actually go with it. So uh, the motor can have a part number, the overload can have a part number, this is all hidden in these placeholders. So when you combine macros and placeholders in ePlan, you can have in one single macro X number of variants, so different circuit representations, and you can have, of course, through these value sets, we can see here all kinds of different sizes of motors being used with all different overload parts, motor overload parts, etc. That is actually to show you how easy it is to actually create the basic schematics of ePlan. Just drag and drop some macros on there and you can see everything is done.